with because the meeting has gone on so long uh, and um, we all can understand and appreciate that. So let me just make this uh, comment that uh, we will be having a proclamation for uh, Director Rice at the uh, first board meeting or the next board meeting in December when we install the uh, the new um, the new members of the board and uh, so director Pearson stated that he did not want a proclamation of any type he didn't want any recognition uh, I just want to make this remark um, director Pearson was appointed to this board in November of 2017. So that was exactly three years ago. Uh, the contributions that Director Pearson has made to this board, to this district, to the community in just a brief three year period, uh, to me, uh, I, I can't imagine anybody having done as much in as short a period of time as David has, you know, not just being initially the chair of the finance committee, being the chair of the R&I committee, being the pre board president for one year, and just everything that he has contributed with his wealth of knowledge and, and, and experience in every way, shape or form. Uh, he's just been, like I say, a, a real addition to this board and, um, Obviously, we've got new people coming on board uh, in December that will be serving for four years, and they'll do a very competent job. There's no doubt about it. They're very bright people, but the two folks that we're losing, and I just right now, I'm just basically remarking on uh, Director Pearson um, David, I just think back to those. We, David and I, when he was president, I was vice president. We'd meet at least once a month at Lily's and just talk about district stuff and talk about life. Uh, some of my fond memories of the first four years of being on the board. So David, I know you didn't want any kind of commendation. I'm trying to make it brief, but I think I speak for everyone uh, in the community, um, on staff, on the board, and just thank you immensely for everything that you've contributed. And um, you're, you're gonna be missed, that's all I can say. Well, thank you for your kind comments. Um... And thank all of you. Uh, thank you, staff, for doing a great job, GM Weibold. Thanks especially to Mr. Carmel for keeping us on track all the time. Uh, and thanks to uh, all the other members of the board. Uh, you guys have been great to work with um, very harmoniously. Uh, we got along well, and I appreciate that. I would especially like to thank Director Rice for her mentoring and uh, training me on how this all worked and stuff. She was a great help to me all through the three years that I served. And uh, I wish you all all the best. You'll do a great job. Thanks. Yes. I will say voting to appoint you, David, was one of the very best decisions I made over the eight years I served on this board. Thank you for serving with me. Thank you, David. Uh, thank you all for this uh, two, three hour meeting today. Uh, I don't think anybody anticipated. Um, I just want to thank the contributions of just not the board members, but um, utilities manager Ray Dienzo and the members of the community that spoke. And it was a very valuable um, special meeting that wasn't even a special meeting, just a continuation. So everyone have a blessed weekend. Uh, be grateful for living here in Cambria or wherever you reside. And uh, don't forget to be kind, uh, be careful, be thoughtful, and to wear a mask and many blessings. This meeting is ended. Thank you very much. Thank you.